Matthew 15, verse 18. It says, But those things which proceed out of the mouth come forth from the heart, and they defile the man. But that I like to say, call him La Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Also, with the Bible, I said, Elzo GMS, and honestly, you Akim. Peace and bless to all you brothers and sisters that listen to Hopeful Elect. Call him La Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. And like our King Yahweh Shai said, Matthew 15, 18. But those things which proceed out of the mouth come forth from the heart, and they defile the man. But those things which proceed out of the mouth come forth from the heart or your mind, man. And they defile the man. All right. Of course, this video was uh, that idiot, Charleston White, who's a joker. Um, he had a lot to say. He had a lot to say, I believe, two days ago about the Israelites. And a futile mission. Um, going out there and prophesying. He, crit he criticized the IUIC march around the stadium, this, that, and the third. And, um, you know, he said we they didn't vandalize, didn't smack any white woman. That guy is a fool, man. Pretty much wants us to get locked up, man. Okay, which we had our own criticisms of IUIC. You know, that's another video for another time. But um, that guy, Charleston White, like the scripture says, what comes from the mouth comes from the heart, man. And they defiling, man, man. Okay, and now everybody knows that you're a damn fool. Because you had another interview uh, earlier today where this guy pulled out a gun on the damn, I forgot the DJ's name, where he was going into the people that he helped in Chicago, King Vaughn and FPG Duck's mom, right? And <laughs> where has that gotten you, man? You see? And you allow your emotions to get the best of you, and that could have been fatal, man. All right, but you want us to go out there and um, do the same, right? Build up the community, right? That's not Yahweh Bashim Yashad didn't send us out there to do that, man. We are to gather the elect, all right? And, um, you know, that guy's just a hypocrite, man. Let me get 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14. You see, Scripture says, Be not deceived, the heavenly Father is not mock. Whatsoever man sow, that should also reap. Most I gonna make you eat your words, man. We in a time now of judgment, man. This word is being exalted. And anything that comes against this word, like Yahweh Shai said um, in Matthew, the 21st chapter, verse, I think, 44. Here we go. It says, And whosoever shall fall on this stone shall be broken. But on whomsoever it shall fall, it will grind him to powder. So you coming up against the word, you like the Lord told possible, you kicking against the bricks, man. Okay, you're going to hurt yourself, man. All right, your tongue, your mouth is going to get your ass in trouble, man. With the Lord, because the scripture, like there's an old saying, don't let your mouth write a, a, a check that your ass can't cash, man. All right, you can't cash this check, man. That's why the scripture said, let me get 1 Corinthians 2, 14. Right? I mean, I'm, I'm bringing 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14. And it's not only him. A lot of Jake feel that way. I don't want to hear about that Bible and faith, even though he's a hypocrite. He's in other various interviews talking about the Bible and his mom was a Bible-believing Christian. Right? But then in the same mouth, he's going to say, oh, the, the, the same book that we teaching out of, don't tell me about no God and no book. <laughs> you see? See, Jake, man, she says he's double-minded. She says meddle not with those that are given to change, man. And as you can see, everything is just predicated off your own emotions. As you can saw in that, that latest video, man. You see? That's how you want us to end up, man. And that's why, let me read 1 Corinthians 2, 14. It says, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of the Most High. This whole thing is spiritual. Okay? That's why two-thirds of our people are not going to understand this thing. That's why you had that last Jake talking about, I don't want to be woke, but broke. See? He's a natural man. Right? He said, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither, they, neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. Okay? You guys are retarded. Right? This thing is far above you, man. We're talking about spiritual things, the kingdom of the most high, immortality. And it all starts repentance coming back to your power. And we're telling you why we went into captivity and suffering the curses, which he ridiculed that. I don't want to serve no God that cursed me 2,000 years ago. But there's a video where you talked about uh, free will and mankind is under curse because of Adam. 
Like I said before, man, that guy is a fool, man. That's why the scripture says, let me get Proverbs chapter 15, verse 28. So which one is it? All right, let me read that. Proverbs 15, verse 28. It's the main precept I wanted to get. Proverbs 15, 28. It says, the heart of the righteous study of to answer. Right? We, we Like the scripture says, you have to be ready to give a answer to every question, every sensible question. And it has to be based off the book. We don't speak off our own emotions, man. All right? But the mouth of the wicked poureth out evil things. Like well, like what you're saying. All right? That's evil, man. Right? Number one, you mocking your heritage. You mocking your culture. Right? You spewing evil things before you howl about Shemel Shai. You pretty much condemn the book, man. All right? And that Yahweh Shai said, what comes out of a man's mouth comes from the heart. And that's what defiles you, man. See, and everything is being made manifest now because of the word. You said that the whole march with IUIC, which you like we said we had on criticisms about that, but you said um they didn't disrupt anything. Well, that's not what we seen. Okay. First of all, Kyrie is the most talked about athlete on the planet right now because of the truth. Because of the truth, because he linked the video that said that we were the original Hebrews, man. That we are the Israelites. Kane was the most talked about subject two weeks ago because he stated the obvious and he said the same thing that we're Shemitic, that we're the Israelites. So what do you mean we didn't disrupt anything, man? All eyes is on the truth right now. It's just that you're not paying attention because you're a fool, man. Okay? And the Lord most high gonna deal with you. That situation just happened. That could that got ugly, man. These little motions just got the best when you start pulling out that. <laughs> Oh, man, that hammer, man. All right. But like I said, all this is happening because this word and that proves that we're doing our job. All right. Yahweh Shai said that offenses must come, but warns you to your offenses cometh. All right. He also said, let me get Hebrews 4 and 12. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12. I'll just quickly report on this in the Pabi al Shemel Shah. It says Hebrews 4 and 12, it says, For the word of the Most High is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing sunder of soul and spirit. This word cuts the spirit. He hates the way we bring it out because it's not plantation Christianity. Love everybody. God loves everybody. He's going to accept you how you are. Come as you are. Nah, man. Truth says, Whosoever seeking not the Most, most High uh, power of Israel shall be put to death. Right? You can't be smoking a spliff, eating swine, right? Celebrating these holidays. You can't do those things in this truth, man. Right? The inner man has to change. And that's the thing about Jake. They love disorder. They love chaos, man. You guys keep talking about the community. Community is a reflection of that, man. Right? And like, like we said before, the most high didn't send us out there to be community organizers and to be community activists. All right? That's not our job, man. Okay, our job is to is to prepare Israel for the evil day, and that's the one third. All right, it said scripture says though, but the word though it passes even to divide and sunder of soul and spirit, so it cuts your spirit. And the point I want to bring out and the joints of the marrow and is the discerner of thoughts and intents of the heart. So a lot of people's true spirit is being manifest now because of this word, man. It's a discerner of thoughts. All right, so your true feeling is being brought to the surface. How do you feel about the Most High? Most of our people, they hate the Most High, man. And His only begotten Son. Why? Because they despise His men. Why? Because they despise the message, man. And that's what Yahweh Shai said, Luke 10, 16. There are a couple, actually, some scriptures in the Apocrypha I want to bring out. Luke 10, 16, he said, He that heareth you, heareth me. So you listen to us um, from the apostles and elders on down. Receiving the Mashiach, man. All right? And you even got them other Israelite groups out there. They go off on certain things, but they tell you Israel, man. They tell you need to repent. All right? And he that despiseth you despiseth me. And he that despiseth me despiseth him that sent me. You despise the Most High, man. As much as you think you say you love God this time and third, you're a liar, man. Scripture says, any man that say he loved the Most High and keep not his commandments, he's a liar and the truth is not in him. Two thirds of our people are liars, man. That's what the Most High say. He's going to judge the hypocritical nation. That's two thirds, man. 
You see? So, I, matter of fact, there's some screws in the pocket for I want to bring out before I close this out. I didn't want to get nothing too long. Sirac chapter 27 verse 11, man. So, I do Charleston White. You playing with fire, man. No side going to get you, man. He's ready. You ready bugging out right now. So it says Sirach 27 verse 11. It says, The discourse of a godly man is always with wisdom, but a fool changeth as the moon. And like we said before, he is a fool. Because he doesn't fear Yahweh Bashem Yahushua, man. And he does change as the moon because one minute he talks about God in the Bible and the other minute, like in that last video, he said, don't talk to me about no God and no Bible. I want to serve no God that's over, uh, uh, that cursed us 2,000 years ago. And, you know, even though, um, he, um, how you call it, uh, even though he talked about the curse that fell upon, um, the, the, in, uh, wait, is it Sirach, the 40th chapter? But the, pretty much the curse that fell upon all mankind, he said in a video from Adam, all right? And he said, we have to, as human beings, deal with this curse, all right? That's why God um, allows us to suffer, something along those lines. Somebody am asking that question, all right? So you believe in that curse, but you don't want to believe in the curse that the Most High put on his people for disobeying his commandments, man. All right? Um... So, like, let me read this next precept. Sirach chapter 20, verse 18. Probably one more after this. So, fool changes that the moon, which the Bible calls that being double-minded. All right? Sirach 20, 18, it says, To slip upon a pavement is better than to slip with the tongue, so the fall of the wicked shall come speedily. And we can see a downfall right now, man. All right? You should have said nothing. About the Israelites, man. Just keep talking on these rappers, man. But no, you have to run your mouth, man. And that's why your downfall is going to come quickly, man. All right? And that's why I probably closed out this last scripture. Sirach chapter 22, verse 13. It says, Talk not much with a fool, and go not, go not to him that hath no understanding. Beware of him, lest thou have trouble. And thou shalt never be defiled with his fooleries, man. So, guy, that guy is a fool. We're not going to be defiled with your fooleries, man. Okay? It says, depart from him, and thou shalt find rest, and never be disquieted with his madness. And that's not only him. That's the rest of these two-thirds, man. Okay? We, uh, King David said, I would not sit with evildoers, man. We have nothing to do with you niggas out there in the world, man, unless you repent. And come back to your heritage, man. Come back to your how about Shem Yal Shah. Alright? And anything else other than that is evil, man. Because America's about to go up in flames. This place is about to fall. Okay? So you're talking about building here and doing for the community and uh sitting down with uh these mothers or these gang bangers. Right? No other the bullshit you niggas is trying to do, man. Alright, we're not gonna be defiled with your fooleries, man. Okay, so that must say, Kolo Imla Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shalom.